guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you my February obsessions. These are items which I have been loving for the month of February. And they range from hair care, skin care, and body care, and also lifestyle items. I'm first going to jump into body care items. And it was actually my really good friend here on YouTube. Her name is Lexi, LexiLove518. Hi, Lexi, if you're watching. And uh, she always mentions this brand called 100% Pure. Recently, when I met up with her, we actually stopped by the 100% uh, the store, 100% pure store. And I'm gonna say I have been absolutely loving their items. And this one is called the 100% Pure Blood Orange Body Scrub. It's 100% natural and also 100% vegan. This contains fruit oils that deeply moisturize, it contains fruit acids that brighten gently for a healthy glow. It's made of no harsh detergents, no synthetic chemicals, no artificial fragrances, or any other toxins that can strip, irritate, or dehydrate your delicate skin. This thing smells amazing. It literally smells like you just peeled an orange. I'll take a scoop of this onto a washcloth and just begin um, exfoliating my skin and immediately you can smell the aroma of oranges. Plus, once the scrub hits your body, you can also feel the oils that are in the body scrub, which I'm gonna tell you, it's not greasy. It feels very, very moisturizing, and that's exactly what my skin needed. This, however, is a little bit on the pricier side for a body scrub, but I think it is well worth the money. I actually use this about every two to three days. Even on the second day or third day, you can still feel the moisture in your skin. That's how moisturizing this thing is. It's also by 100% Pure. This is the Mangosteen Whipped Body Butter. It's a luxurious body butter that deeply moisturizes, softens, and also protects the skin. It smells like mangoes, very fruity. I love the scent of this. Actually, this thing and um, this one, the Blood Orange Body Scrub, I think they smell heavenly together. It really does help moisturize and hydrate the skin. This doesn't leave the skin oily or greasy. You can definitely feel that it's very moisturized and it has a nice uh, softness to it, which I really do enjoy. Now, I recently had my hair balayage, which basically means it's darker at the top and then it's slowly kind of gets lighter at the bottom. It's not exactly an ombre. However, I did get it done the other week and after I had that done, my hair was extremely dry due to the bleach and all of the chemicals. So I've been going back to this item, which is by the brand Agave. This is the Restorative Hydrating Mask. I've been using it, I wanna say every day. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but whenever I use this, it left my hair feeling very soft and manageable. A lot of the times with the other conditioners I've been using, just my regular conditioners, my hair would end up getting very tangled and it felt very brittle. Um, at the bottom, but this one it definitely did the trick. This one is from the brand Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro Lengthening and Thickening Mascara in the color black. I don't believe this is waterproof, but I will tell you guys I have been enjoying the formula of this. The first couple of times I used it, I was really unsure of how I felt about this because it is a drier formula for mascara. It has kind of like a coned shape to it. I feel like the wand really helps separate and also volumize and thicken my lashes. I don't know if you guys have really noticed, but the past couple videos, I have been kind of laying off of the false lashes. Don't get me wrong, I do love my false lashes, but I kind of felt like I just needed a break from it. But this one, I feel like it really does thicken them and also volumize them. So I don't feel like too naked without my lashes, without the false lashes. This eyeliner from the brand The Bomb Cosmetics, this is called the Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. Again, this was part of my weekly favorites the other week. I really do enjoy the felt tip of this liner because it helps create a wing liner with ease. I really also like the opaqueness because it is a rich black color. The only downside I will say to this again is that it isn't waterproof. Tonight it started raining and I was in the rain only for like a couple minutes and already it started to drip a little bit. Luckily it completely didn't like streak down my face because we didn't have an umbrella with us. I've been really enjoying these brushes from the brand BH Cosmetics. I'm actually going to leave the complete name of this brush set somewhere here in the video but I have been using them this whole entire month of February and I'm gonna say I really do like them. The bristles are very, very soft. Even though the brushes are a little bit bigger than um, some of my other brushes, they are still very easy to use. 
they are not scratchy at all. I believe right now on the website they're about $21 and some change before they were on sale for like $15 or so but I think they're definitely worth the money. To this primer from the brand Kat Von D and this is the Locket Featherweight Primer. I did a whole review on this primer which I'm going to link down below. I just uploaded it uh, yesterday so um, go check that out if you guys are interested in seeing a full review on this but I really really have been enjoying this primer it's very lightweight it helps helps create a nice smooth canvas for applying your foundation I have to go again to this one from the brand cover effects and this is the contour kit I'm in the shade G medium deep and I also want to correct myself because I know last time I mentioned this in my other or my last week's video I was saying that this was the darkest shade in their collection which I was wrong there's actually another darker shade which I'm going to list the name somewhere here so I just wanted to correct that but I have been really really enjoying this contour palette it is more on the natural side which I am wearing today for my contour I'm also using the highlight the uh, under eye highlight and also the highlighter which by the way is like one of my favorite highlighters but I really have been enjoying this along with the cover effects the contour brush these really do blend out very smoothly very easily on the skin for being an oily skin girl this definitely does not make me oilier which i really do like as well and going back to a rediscovery item this one is from the brand Too faced this is the sweethearts perfect flush blush in the shade candy glow which i am wearing today on my cheeks but it's such a beautiful, like a peachy, pinky color. It has some beautiful shimmer in it. It's not nothing like glittery. It's As for a lip combo for the month, it's gonna have to go to the one which I'm wearing today. I have been wearing this combo, I wanna say like the past two weeks. And um, first I'll apply this lipstick from the brand Lorac. This is one of their Alter Ego lipsticks in the shade Duchess, which is a beautiful, nudie pink color. And there's a swatch of Duchess. I'll actually top it off with this cargo lip gloss. This one is in the shade Anguilla. I actually received this in one of my Ipsy bags. I'm really, really glad I received this because it's not sticky at all. It glides on very smoothly. It doesn't even have a taste to it. It has a little bit of like a, a sweet scent to it, but this is like in beautiful milky pink. There's a swatch of the cargo lip gloss. As for my lifestyle item, it's going to have to go to this item, which is the Bates pill Nicki Minaj edition and I've had this for the last couple of months but in all honesty it's only this month that I've actually started to really use it. The reason why I like it number one is that it's pink. Number two is the sound quality. I really really enjoy the sound quality. You can definitely hear the bass. It's very loud. The life of the battery on this if you're using Bluetooth, I want to say it's about three and a half to four hours, which is still pretty good. Then you have to recharge it. Probably one of the best items that I've had from Beats. I've had their Beats, uh, the Power Beats and the Beats Solo, but this is probably by, by far my favorite from the whole entire line. Now, the reason why I have been using this Beats pill so much is because of a soundtrack. And I'm pretty sure you guys know which one it is because I mentioned it last week and I know Many of you are obsessed with it just as much as I am. And it is the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack. I have been listening listening to this soundtrack on repeat the past Ever since Valentine's Day, I've been like listening to it. I've just been really, really loving the soundtrack. So those are all of the items I wanted to share with you for my February obsessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to share what items you have been obsessed with for the month of February, please don't forget to leave it in the comment area down below. And also, please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.